Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on just things that I've been loving lately. People do this like their monthly favorites or their favorites of the season. I don't know what this is. This is just things that I've been liking that I would recommend to you. I don't know if this is the greatest setup. I need to get better lights, but I thought I'd have some green in the background because yeah. That's probably the first thing I've been loving lately is plants. In my last video, you'd be able to see me mm, buy some plants. <laughs> so first I'll start with like bathroom body things like that in case you missed like my video two videos ago um, I'm trying to be more sustainable and zero waste and ethical and things like that and someday I want to go to a bookstore that's kind of near where I live kind of near being like 45 minutes away so not actually very close but someday I'll go there and I'll vlog my adventure but in the meantime I'm trying to get things that are not in plastic or at least are an ethical company so this is something that I've had for I think I bought this like a year ago now. I don't know, I've had this for a long time and it's still going very strong. Um, this is Dr. Bronner's Pure Castel Soap. I'm pretty sure you've seen this in any like natural grocer or store that you've gone to. This is an ethical company from what I found. It's made of pretty much natural ingredients and stuff. I don't know a ton about them, but I know that they're not like a horrible company, at least from what I've researched. And also I've already had this before I started being sustainable, so even if they weren't, like I'd still use up the product. But this would be something that I want to buy, I think, again in the future. But why I mentioned the bulk store is from the photos I can find online, the bulk store that I want to go to has like bulk Dr. Bronner. So once I finish this container, I'll probably just bring this empty container to the bulk store and fill it up so I can buy it both in bulk and it's a brand that I already really like. It's not like any compromise or anything. You can do a lot with this stuff and it's a pretty in high concentrate so I just usually take like a little bead in my hands and then I get it full of water and then I just wash my body. I don't use this on my face just because I have very sensitive skin but that is a thing. I do have sensitive skin and it works great on my body. I just don't think I'd use it on my face. So the next thing is Lush. I really like this brand company. The only thing, the only thing is, it is expensive. Usually for my birthday or Christmas, if people ask like, "What do you want?" I say Lush because I'll pretty much like anything they have, honestly. Um, and since it's expensive, it's a nice thing to get as a gift. But the nice thing about this is, if you bring five empty of these containers, you get a free face mask, and they reuse this plastic. So although it does come in plastic packaging you they have a recycling program which is really cool the one thing that sucks though is I went there excited I was gonna get like three shampoo bars since again I don't go there very often but they have sulfates in them and I looked it up and they don't have sulfates in their other shampoos but the reason I was buying a Lush shampoo was for the package free shampoo bars and they they have sulfates and I've heard it's just so bad for your hair so I'm trying not to use sulfates, parabens, or silicones in any of my hair products, but those had them. So I didn't buy the freaking shampoo bars. I was so sad. Um, so if you have any recommendations for shampoo bars that isn't Lush, I am in the market. I like Lush lotions. This was Bucks Fizz body conditioner. I got this as a gift, um, I think from my mom, and it's so thick and it smells so good. So this little bottle is nice because it is thick. You don't need a ton, but also it's hard to rub into your legs. So I just got the Sleepy Body Lotion. I've never had this one, but I've had their Charity Pot one, and I've had a couple others, and I just really like them. I just usually put them on my legs after I shave. Um, I don't use lotion all over my body, just wherever I shave, basically. The next thing isn't necessarily bath, but it kind of is. This I got a while ago, but I've started using it again. It is just a sack full of like millet or rice or something, and it has lavender in it, and you microwave this and it's warmth. Now it is summer, so you might be wondering like why. <laughs> like this is nice during the winter time if you're cold, um, but it's really nice if you have cramps. You just microwave this for a couple minutes and then put it on your stomach and it is the most wonderful sensation ever. So would recommend these. You can hand make these pretty easily if you take like a tube sock and fill it with rice. I believe that would do the same thing. I'm sure you could look it up. I've just had this for a little bit now, so. But I've started breaking it out again recently because it just feels so good on your stomach when you need it. I think this is the last like beauty item. It's this bag. No, it's earrings. I know that seems so dumb, but lately I've really been loving earrings. The ones that I'm wearing right now, let me get up close and show you. These I got at the Renaissance Festival. I just went last weekend in Colorado and I really like these. I saw these from like a little bit away and I was like, what are those? I don't even know what it is. It was $8, so these are freaking cool. I have a couple in here that I'll just show you really quickly. Um, I just feel like earrings is something that just makes your outfit look put together. It's kind of fun. 
I got these wood ones from a local store. Kind of cool. I try to get my earrings from local places like the Renaissance Fair. People ideally are hand making them. These I got at a boutique from a local person. These I got um, that actually came with this yellow bag that came in. Like the local store, they're like, oh yeah, we make these earrings in store. So it's just like a silver imperfect ring that I really like. These are some of my favorites I also got from a local boutique. It's like they're like bronze and silver. Oh, I got, I'll show you these ones. This I also got from the Renaissance Festival. They're $20, but they're real quartz. And she said something about gold. I doubt it's real gold because I feel like they'd be way more than $20. It's these quartz ones. So I also got that from the Renaissance. I really like going to the Renaissance Festival, so. That was also a favorite recently was going there because it's so fun. So one other thing I've been loving lately is essential oils because of course, why wouldn't a person who's trying to be like sustainable love essential oils? <laughs> I just feel like that's a stereotype, but that I do fit. Um, and I recently got a diffuser online. It lasts though for like 48 hours. So it concerns me because the smell goes away and it's just like blowing out water. So I have to figure that out. But a scent that I've been loving lately is from Now Essential Oils. Josh's sister actually gave this to me, so I'm not sure where she got this. But it's the Cheer Up Buttercup Blend. Um, it just smells really good. I'm not sure. Let's see what's in it. It's bergamot, orange, lime, grapefruit, and lemon. And it's supposed to uplift, refresh, and energize. It's just really nice. It's a nice summer smell, I think. So I've been liking essential oils a lot. Um, I do like candles and things like that. Um, I just honestly forget about them and the diffusers in the corner and, and it gives like a nice humming I just like the sound of the motor like I don't need a silent diffuser Like I kind of like when they have a small noise and then I just put a couple drops in here but Yeah, I don't know Essential oils. I like them. I know it's a stereotype that I fit but that's okay. The next thing is a two-for-one I have been loving cold brew lately. It's super easy to make you um, I at first bought like tea bags basically of coffee that you put it in steep but that's pretty wasteful because the tea bags again trying to get rid of those one use items so Josh actually has a coffee bean grinder and so next time and maybe I'll put it in a video someday I think it'd be fun to do like a what I eat in a day or in a week or whatever I recently got this which I haven't used yet but I bought this like ultra tube cold brew it's like a stainless steel Thing, just got this on Amazon and it's for mason jars so you fill this up with coffee beans that are grinded not to the top there's instructions and then you let it sit overnight or for 24 hours and then it's cold brew and why I like cold brew a I just think it's nice and especially in the summer hot coffee is a lot um, but coffee usually makes me feel pretty bad actually it makes my stomach really upset and I kind of feel nauseous and I get all you know poopy <laughs> so I, just coffee doesn't make me feel good but cold brew it's less acidic and since it's like taking longer to steep it just it's it's kind of milder than hot coffee or just like regular like pour over or whatever so yes cold brew is better if caffeine or like coffee makes you feel kind of like woozy and un uneasy I would suggest cold brew but the next thing are these ball like mason jar lids that turn it into like a straw now, I wouldn't necessarily buy these, but Josh bought them for me, so now that I have them, I like them. I don't know if I'd buy these just because they are plastic, but it is reusable plastic. So it comes with a usable straw that you can use whenever. But if you take this straw out, which we didn't realize at first, but when I used them today, I was like, oh, this is totally just like a hot coffee lid because it has like this little indent. So it's basically a coffee cup. Oh. <coughs> Well, okay, I drank that too fast. So it's really cool because now this is just like a regular coffee lid. So this is great now that I have it, I love it. And honestly, I might recommend, even though it is plastic, like plastic isn't necessarily the devil. It's just not great. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this, it's reusable. Oh, here it is, this cold brew thing. It's right here, so I haven't used it yet. But yeah, we'll see if this works. Anyways, that's irrelevant. The next thing is this, which is expensive, so it makes me hesitant to suggest this but I bought it and I love it. So these are hex clad pots and pans. I have three more. It is a non-stick pan that doesn't have Teflon or anything like that. So it's not going to slowly poison you like non-stick pans do, but you get the benefits of a non-stick pan. I just, non-stick pans make me feel better just because I'm not great at cooking. And if I use like stainless steel pans, they will char. <laughs> so these are really great. And you can use metal tools on them like 
it, I don't I don't understand. They also come with a lifetime warranty because also the problem with nonstick pans is they're not meant to last forever. They're meant to last until the nonstick starts scraping off. So not very sustainable either. These are more so. I hope I didn't make a bad choice with like the company, but I do know the pans work damn good. So the next thing is pretty similar to like the sustainability like essential oils, but it's yoga. This is my yoga mat and I have been doing yoga lately. I have been really liking yoga. I just do it at home just because I don't want to pay for classes. And the YouTube channel Yoga with Adrienne is amazing. She's amazing. I have been following like the Dedicate program, which is 30 days of free yoga. It's just on YouTube and they're like 20 to 30 minutes of yoga and I've just been doing that in the mornings. And it's so great because I'm trying to get my body moving and yoga is really fun and I feel like I'm not horrible at it, like it's not discouraging to me. And it's just really fun and refreshing and eventually I want to do more with yoga like incorporating like maybe like weightlifting or Pilates or like some core workout. But it's a good intro to get my body moving and shaking. So yeah, Yoga with Adrian. It's literally a free YouTube channel. There's no reason not to. Okay, three things left. Let's start with the most boring thing is a steamer and <laughs> this was a gift it is from amazon it is a little baby steamer you just fill this up with water and steam comes out but it's great i don't know why people don't use steamers what's the point of an iron when you can use this an iron like can like stain things and you can burn things this you just hang a clothes on a hanger and do this a little bit and it steams. It's perfect. Um, I was in a wedding recently and I brought this bad boy and we were just steaming all the dresses and it was great. So, yep, I like the steamer. It has come in handy this month for sure. Okay, last two things. They're both entertainment but very different forms. I'll start with this. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch is one of my favorite all-time favorite video games. It has so many hours of playtime. I've been playing it a lot lately, like hours and hours and hours and days and days. And I'm not, I'm like a fourth way down. I was talking to my friend about it and he's like, oh, you have so much left to do. This is an amazing game. I don't love games where all you do is like shoot and kill things. This is complex. There's side missions you can just explore. It's so good. And they're coming out with a second one. So that's amazing. And the last thing is a book which I have been wanting to start reading books and I read this. I'm not done. I'm only this far, so I still have a bit to go. But this is Florida by Lauren Groff and I bought this at the airport. It's just so good. Each chapter is like a whole new short story and it's so refreshing. Sometimes books seem dumb to me because it's like, I don't want to read about like a dystopian novel where there's this you know, Lord who wants to rule everybody, but oh, he's like cynical and wants to make these robots. Or it's like, oh no, there's this bad guy who like I thought was my friend and then he turned on me. Like I'm just tired of like the setup, climax, resolution. Like I'm just, I'm, it, those, I it, I'm just felt like burnt out from even just hearing about stories like that, even though I don't read very often. But this is so effing refreshing. It's interesting. Each story is different. It's so good. I would recommend if you don't want the typical story like books are, if you want something just new and interesting and I, I just love it. It's great. Okay, I think I'm finally done. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Maybe I'll make these not monthly because I don't think I would have that many things, but maybe I'll make these every once in a while where it's like, here are some things that are fun and cool and that I've been using a lot lately. So yeah, I guess that's about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I feel like this is a weird outro, but that's okay. Okay, bye.